Gordon was cross, he grumbled. Poor Henry didn't feel happy anymore, whispered Percy. Called Gordon. Later, Henry stopped at Edward's station, said Edward. Smiled Henry, said Edward. It was Gordon. He came rushing down the hill at a tremendous rate. He didn't look at Henry and he didn't look at Edward. He screamed straight through the station and disappeared, said Edward, chuckled Henry. And he told Edward what Gordon had said. Meanwhile, Gordon screeched along the line. The noise was awful. At the station, everyone covered their ears. Sir Topham Hatt covered his ears, too. He bellowed. Gordon puffed sadly away, but he wouldn't stop whistling until two feathers climbed up and knocked his whistle valve in place. That night, Gordon slunk into the shed. He was glad it was empty, murmured Harry to no one in particular. No one mentioned whistles. Next morning, Henry was enjoying himself enormously. He sang, hummed, the, hummed his coaches. Then he saw some boys on the bridge. He whistled. He called. The boys didn't wave and take his number. They thought it fun to drop stones on him instead, cried the coaches. The passengers weren't hurt, but they were cross said his driver. They asked, said the driver. Lots of people were at the station just before the bridge. They wanted to see what would happen, said the driver. Henry felt more stuffed up. Soon they could see the boys and they all had stones, said his driver. He said, Laughed his driver. Henry went home, hoping that next time he saw Gordon and the boys, they would have learned not to be so mean.